Welcome to the Pro Kitchen Catalogs tutorial. Pro Kitchen software has over 500 manufacturer catalogs available, so in this tutorial, I'll demonstrate how easy it is to initialize, set up, and get started designing with your favorite catalog. Let's get started. Before you create a new design in Pro Kitchen, you'll want to make sure you have the catalog you wish to work with initialized and opened in your catalog panel on the lower left-hand side of your Pro Kitchen program. The catalogs you have access to are found in the catalog drop-down list at the top of the panel. Any catalog listed in black text is already initialized and you can select it to open its tree of objects included. If a catalog is uninitialized, it will be listed at the bottom of the list in gray text. If you don't see any gray text catalogs, click on the double down arrow next to the drop-down list and make sure it's set to show all. To initialize a catalog, click on it and select the Initialize button. ProKitchen will quickly initialize your catalog and automatically open its catalog tree in your panel and you're ready to begin designing with that catalog. If you wish to uninitialize an already initialized catalog, simply click on the catalog from the drop-down list, then select the Uninitialize tab and click Uninitialize. If the catalog you need is not listed at all in the drop-down list, then that means you don't have it added to your ProKitchen license. To gain access to a certain manufacturer's catalog, contact your ProKitchen account manager directly or call our sales line at 616-524-5243, extension 1. After you have your catalog initialized and selected in your catalog panel, you're going to want to set your global specifications for your catalog. This is where you'll determine and set the construction type, wood species, finish color, and door and drawer styles for the catalog that you'll be designing with. Navigate to the View and Settings tab at the top and select the Global Options icon or select the Global Options icon from your top toolbar. The Global Specifications View panel will appear and you'll see that it consists of three areas. At the top is the catalog that you have selected in your catalog panel, aka the catalog being used in this design. On the left is the style settings you will need to set for this catalog, and on the right is the choices that will be available for each line setting that is on the left. Select a setting from the left with your cursor and the options available for it will appear on the right. Click once on an option and ProKitchen will display its information in the info panel above your catalog panel on the left. When you want to select the option, double click on it and the choice will move over the left panel indicating that it's been chosen for that setting. Always select global specifications in order from top to bottom because not all choices are available with certain styles and ProKitchen will warn you if a choice is not valid. If an option you've selected could potentially have a markup on the price, a pop-up markup dialog box will appear and you can enter your markup percentage and then click OK. Most manufacturer catalogs will allow you to select Sherwin-Williams colors for cabinet finishes. If the catalog has Sherwin-Williams option available, it will be listed at the bottom of the options list under the finish settings. Double click to select it, and on the color palette settings, click Sherwin-Williams to open the color palette selection box. You can enter a swatch color number in the find bar at the top and click search and get the exact color match or browse through the color palette folders. Then click OK to apply. Every line setting in your global specification needs to be set in order to render reports. So if you're not going to use or need a setting in your design, make sure to select None from the Options list. Once you're finished setting your options, you can click the X in the upper right-hand corner of the Global Specifications View panel to temporarily close it. Your choices will be saved unless you come back and change them in this design. You can always reopen View Panels using the View and Settings tab at the top and selecting the View Panel icon. And that's it! Now you're ready to start designing with your catalog in the exact styles you wish and ensure accurate prices when it comes time to run your manufacturer and customer reports.